Hello, Radioland. You're listening to the 2021 North Carolina Radio Play Festival on the CPF Radio Hour. I'm your host, Christian O'Neill. If you're watching us on video, you're in for a treat. We'll be showing you the smiling faces of the playwrights, directors, and the voice performers featured in each play. Maybe you'll hear a familiar voice. Now prepare yourselves, listeners. The stories you'll hear tonight are all staged in the theater of the mind, restricted only by your imagination. Grab a snack, take a seat. Tonight, anything is possible. This year, our festival themes are rebirth and renewal. Every weekend in May, you'll hear how two North Carolinian playwrights responded to those themes. That's eight new plays in the month of May. Our first entry tonight is Call Center by Kirby Callan. We find our protagonist, Steve, at a soul-crushing job, and he's in desperate need of a new start. Let's hear how his day goes. Hello, uh, my name is Steve. I'm calling regarding the renewal of your car's extended warranty. And I... Hello? Hi, my name is Steve, and I'm calling in regards to renewing your car's extended warranty. And I w- Stop calling here! Hello. My name is Steve, and I'm calling concerning the renewal of your car's extended warranty and- Shut up. Hello. My name is Steve, and I'm calling regarding- Caller number seven, thanks for calling in. You've made it onto the DJ Flip Top $10,000 Trivia Hour, only on 98.7 WPRQ The Hits. What's your name, caller number seven? What? You're caller number seven. What's your name? Oh, uh, Steve. Well, uh, Steve, let's hope you have more confidence in these questions than your name. (laughs) All right, Steve, you know how the rules work, but just for everyone listening at home, the game is simple. We're going to ask you a series of five questions, each more difficult than the last. If you get a question right, you'll hear this sound. And you'll progress to the next round, but... If you get a question wrong, you will hear this sound. And your time on the show will be over, and you will walk away with nothing. And let's not forget the big prize. If you get all five questions right, you'll be walking away with $10,000. So what do you say, Steve? Are you in it to win it? I guess so. He guesses so. Don't you love it, folks? He's gonna play! All right, this first question is about geography. How do you feel about your geography knowledge, Steve? It could be better. A modest man. I'm sure you'll do great. We'll see. Okay, the question is, what U.S. state borders the most other states? Now, there's two correct answers here, so naming either will be enough for this question. Gosh, I don't know. Give it a shot. There's 50 to choose from. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas. Five seconds, Steve. Uh, I don't know. Missouri is right in the middle. Missouri is correct. I don't know how you did it. I don't know either. On to question number two. Let's hope you know your art for this next one. Who painted Starry Night? Oh, oh, I, um, I know this one. Well, I sure hope so. <laughs> um, I forget his name. It's, uh, gosh, it uh, starts with a V. Wait, wait, don't tell me. Five seconds. Oh, oh, I, I got it. Vincent Van Gogh. That is correct, Steve! woo How do you feel about politics? I hate him. A man of the people! <laughs> Steve, this next question is simple. Who is the Senate Minority Leader? Oh, easy. Uh, the, the frog-looking guy. Uh, Mitch McConnell. You are on a roll! I guess so. I'm gonna be honest with you. This next question is pretty hard. I don't even know it. So, I'm gonna make you an offer. 
Stop now, and you'll get a $50 Bass Pro Shops gift card. As nice as that sounds, that $10,000 could really change my life. I mean, I work at a call center, hate my life, have no friends, no prospects, no anything, really. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, to be real with you, I'm at work right now. Steve, you mad lad. You're going all the way. I'm going all the way. Okay, question number four. How long was the Hundred Years' War? Well, I'm going to guess not 100. Could be. I think I remember hearing once in high school it was uh, 115 or 116 years. What's it going to be? 115? 116. Going off gut instinct alone, I'm going to have to say 116. Steve. Yeah? You're on fire! That is correct! Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Bet you didn't think you'd get this far. I didn't even think I'd be calling into a radio show. Well, you did, Steve. And you're about to answer question number five for $10,000. Let's go. This next question is pretty hard, so it's going to be multiple choice. Amazing. The final question for $10,000 is... In 2020, U.S. consumers lost $19.7 billion in what kind of fraud? Was it A, identity theft, B, credit card theft, C, scam calls, or D, mail fraud? I should know this. Oh, have you been scammed recently? No, I am a scammer. Oh. I'm going to go with C... Scam calls. Final answer? Yes. Now you're sure you don't want to think about this anymore? Nope. See, normally, people mull over their options a little bit in the final question. Nope. I'm confident. C. Scam calls. Final answer. Okay. Well, Steve, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but... You've just won $10,000! I can't believe this! Believe it, kid! Wow, just... wow. Tell everyone at home who made it possible. Uh, just a second. 98.7 WPRQ, the hits. That's right, and to everyone listening in at home, you can... I quit. I don't need this dead-end job anymore. My life is finally turning around. Really? Nothing? I just won $10,000 and quit my job? I was kind of expecting a bigger reaction. Okay. God, I hate this job. And that was Call Center by Kirby Callen. This audio production was directed by Terrell Brown, featuring the voice talents of John Paul Middlesworth as Steve, Lauren Schneider as DJ Fliptop, and Jason Christ as the callers and the co-worker. Sound design and editing by Terrell Brown. Don't touch that dial. Stay tuned for our next radio play. No need to click away. In case you're just tuning in, thank you for joining us. The Kerry Plarites Forum and Creative Greensboro are two organizations with a passion in producing new plays in North Carolina. If you support our mission, please donate by visiting the Kerry Plarites Forum website. The donation button is the yellow button on the right. Every dollar keeps us going. Up next is the play Lost Time by Grace Ellis. Our lives are peppered with passing moments and random encounters, but however brief these encounters may be, sometimes they provide us with a second chance. Let's listen in. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. A Manhattan about seven train approaching Hunter's Point Avenue. Excuse me. Don't I know you? No. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Go away. 
Come on, you think I'm trying to pick you up? Well, duh. Don't I know you? How lame is that? What are you going to say next? Do you come here often? You think I'm hitting on you in the subway station? At what? What, what time does the phone say? Let me see. 2.30 in the morning? Get away from me! Right now! I mean it. You see this umbrella? It's not much of a weapon, but still. You think that I am so desperate that I'm looking for love down here? I would never try to pick you up, even if you are dressed like somebody who might have been walking the streets until it got too cold. Hey, hey, now you're insulting me? You creep! Forget that. I take it back. But I wasn't coming on to you, okay? I was just making conversation. That's all. Pervert! I've had enough. Did you ever stop to think that there might be a different explanation? A perfectly innocent explanation? Shut up! Didn't you ever have one of those days when everyone you see reminds you of somebody you used to know? What? Well, I'm having one of those days. What kind of a nut are you? I'm calling the cops. Wait, I I was just trying to tell you. Tonight, at my gate, there was a woman at the bar who looked just like my fourth grade teacher. I I mean, exactly. Come on, come on, 911. Why can't I get through? And then, on my way to the train, I saw this guy walking some kind of stupid little dog. He was the spitting image of my grandfather. Damn it! The guy, I mean. Not the dog. What's wrong with my phone? No connection down here. Are you even listening to me? I'm trying to explain. I don't want to hurt you or have sex with you. You don't. No, I don't. It's just... You look so much like this girl that I used to know. Who? Excuse me? Who? Who do you think I look like? Oh, just a girl from middle school. Jennifer, her name was. Well, my name isn't Jennifer. I know. I liked her a lot for a whole year, but she never knew that I existed. I didn't roll with her crowd. I was, you know, one of the orchestra nerds. So you were what, like stalking her? I wasn't stalking her. I would just look at her from across the cafeteria, you know. And she was pretty, of course, but she also looked... I guess kind is the word I want. She looked like she would be kind. So I liked to look at her. And I wrote her notes, you know. But but I never sent them, and as far as I know, she never noticed me. Not her train. Not yet. Uh, Well, I'm sorry. For you. Truly. Middle school sucks. Oh, I bet it was okay for you. You were probably in the inner circle. You know. I'm in with the in crowd. I know where the in crowd go. Sorry. So, cheerleader? Not me. Majorette? Nah. Student council? I wish. No, Mr. Whoever you are. I was pretty much excluded in middle school. Not somebody who got noticed. You. I don't believe it. Nobody who looks like you could go unnoticed. I didn't look like this in middle school. Still, I can't imagine that... Okay, okay. It it was worse than that. Everybody thought I was a slut. The nice kids wouldn't have anything to do with me. So there. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, I... I am sorry. What I said about walking the streets, that was so... A person gets used to it. 
No, I was completely out of line. Can you forgive me? What's your name? It's, um, Cindy. And no, you still can't have my number. I'm Alex. You can stop right there, Alex. I've still got my umbrella for protection. And what's in that black case you're holding? My saxophone. From my gig. Oh. Whatever happened to her? To who? That girl? Jennifer? Oh, she disappeared over the summer after seventh grade. I guess she moved or transferred to a different school or something. I never heard. Sad. And she never knew how you felt about her? Nah, it's alright. No, it isn't. Not really. It still hurts, I imagine. What? Being abandoned like that. It's something you never quite get over, don't you think? Well, she didn't exactly abandon me. She didn't know I was there in the first place. Still. But sure, it was hard. It does get better, though. Some. Like they say, when you get older and sort of find yourself and people aren't so mean. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, maybe. Do you think the train is ever going to come? What if they shut the whole system down and forgot to tell anybody? Nah, the trains are still running. It's just late night. <laughs> train every 10 or 15 minutes during rush hour. Every hour and a half after midnight. Really? You have to wait that long? All the time. <laughs> I could not do that. But you're here tonight. True. My bad luck. Other plans didn't work out. Sounds like you were on the run from a bad date. On Tinder? Something like that. What would you do if you ran into her again? Jennifer? Not just somebody who reminds you of her, but Jennifer herself. In the flesh. I don't know. I bet you do. What are you supposed to be now? Some kind of psychic? No. I just know about unfinished business. Such as? No comment. Well, as it happens, I wrote a song for her. No words, just a tune. I thought that the music sounded the way she looked. I worked on it all summer long. The summer before she didn't come back. A song? Just for her? So if I ever saw her again, I would... Is there really an instrument in that case? Open it. Let me see. For heaven's sake. Do it. See? Well, put it together. But if the train... Oh, why not? If anybody ever wrote a song just for me, I would just... I would be so... Can you still play that song? What? Here? Right here, right now. Why not? You got anything better to do? I don't know if I still remember. Yes, you do. Are you sure you're not... No, I'm not psychic. And I'm not Jennifer. I'm Cindy. And after tonight, I will never see you again. But since I remind you of her, let me be her stand-in for your unfinished business. Unless you want me to poke you with this umbrella. (laughs) Play me the freaking tune. This is ridiculous. Go ahead. Play. I feel stupid. No. Stupid is never taking a chance. This is something else. Pucker up and play that thing. I'll pretend you're playing it for me.
Thank, Thank you. you. I better pack it up now. I think I hear the train finally coming. Here it comes. That was Lost Time by Grace Ellis. This audio production was directed by Mike Brandon, featuring the voice talents of John Gallus as Alex and Emily Keola as Cindy. Sound design and editing by Mike Brandon. And that concludes our first weekend of the 2021 North Carolina Radio Play Festival. Remember, we're premiering two new radio plays every weekend in May. Tune in next week to hear After the Hereafter by Teddy Durgan and Where Are We Going? by Deborah Kaufman. That's eight new plays in the month of May. This recording is a co-production of the Carrie Plurites Forum and Creative Greensboro as a part of the 2021 North Carolina Radio Play Festival. If you want to hear more radio plays and love Halloween any day of the year, check out our 2020 North Carolina Radio Play Festival. Also, check out the 2019 GPF Radio Hour Takeover event featuring six radio plays written by Greensboro playwrights. This is Christian O'Neill signing off. So long.